Unilorin Positemi must fail general paper questions. This question says, Fact 1. Eyeglass frames cost between $35 and $350. Fact 2. Some eyeglass frames are made of titanium. Fact 3. Some eyeglass frames are made of plastic. If the first three statements are facts, which of the following statements must also be a fact? Statement I. Titanium eyeglass frames cost more than plastic frames. Statement II. Expensive eyeglass frames last longer than cheap frames. Statement III. Only a few eyeglass frames cost less than $35. Option A. I only. Option B. II only. Option C. II and III only. Option D, none of the statements is a known fact. Now, considering the above listed facts 1 to 3, none of the statements listed below is a fact. And this is because there is no fact from fact 1 to fact 3 stating that titanium eyeglass frames cost more than plastic eyeglass frames. And so the statement, titanium eyeglass frames cost more than plastic eyeglass frames is not a fact. Also, there is no fact from fact 1 to 3 that reveals anything about longevity of the eyeglass frames. So the statement, expensive eyeglass frames last longer than cheap frames, is not a fact. And finally, there is also no fact from fact 1 to 3 that states the number of eyeglass frames and their prices. So the statement, only a few eyeglass frames cost less than $35 is also not a fact. So therefore, the, the correct answer to this question is option D. That is, none of the statements is a known fact. Unilorin Positiemi must fail general paper questions. This question says, fact one, Mary said, Anne and I both have cats. Fact 2. Anne said, I don't have a cat. Fact 3. Mary always tells the truth, but Anne sometimes lies. If the three statements are facts, which of the following statements must also be a fact? Statement 1. Anne has a cat. Statement 2. Mary has a cat. Statement 3. Anne is lying. Option A, I only. Option B, I, I only. Option C, I and I, I only. Option D, all the statements are facts. From the question, it is stated that Anne sometimes lie, not Mary. So if Anne says Anne and I both have cats, and Anne says I don't have a cat, which in this case is a lie, then this means that Anne has a cat, Mary has a cat, and Anne is lying. So therefore, all the three statements are facts. So the correct answer to this question is option D. All statements are facts. Unilorin most failed positive general paper questions. This question says, fact one. Pictures can tell a story. Fact 2. All storybooks have pictures. Fact 3. Some storybooks have words. If the first three statements are facts, which of the following statements must also be a fact? Statement I. Pictures can tell a story better than words can. Statement II. The stories in storybooks are very simple. Statement III. Some storybooks have both words and pictures. Option A, I only. Option B, I, I only. Option C, I, I, I only. Option D, none of the statements is a known fact. The only fact among the listed statements is statement I, 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 which says some storybooks have both words and pictures. Statement I and I, I do not fit in based on the stated facts. Statement III says some storybooks have both words and pictures. And from the facts, we can see that all storybooks have pictures and some storybooks have words, 
Hence, statement III is a fact. So, the correct answer to this question is option C. That is III only. Unilorin Positiemi most failed general paper questions. This question says, fact 1, some pens don't write. Fact 2, all blue pens write. Fact 3, some writing utensils are pens. If the first three statements are facts, which of the following statements must also be a fact? Statement I, some writing utensils don't write. Statement II, some writing utensils are blue. Statement III, some blue writing utensils don't write. Option A, I only. Option B, I and II only. Option C, I, I and I, I, I only. Option D, none of these statements is a known fact. From the question, we are told that some pens don't write, all blue pens write, and some writing utensils are pen. And so fact I, that is some writing utensils don't write, is true, since some writing utensils are pen and some pens don't write. Also fact I, I, that is some writing utensils are blue, is true, since some writing utensils are pen, which can be gotten from the fact all blue pens write. So the correct answer to this question is option B, that is I and II only. In Lorraine Positemi most failed general paper questions. This question says, at the baseball game, Henry was sitting in seat 253. Maria was sitting to the right of Henry in seat 254. In the seat to the left of Henry was George. Ines was sitting to the left of George. Which seat is Ines sitting in? Option A, 251. Option B, 254. Option C, 255. Option D, 256. Now let's try to work this out together to arrive at the correct answer. Now let Henry be H. Let Maria be M. Let George be G. And let Ines be I. And so from the question, we are told that Henry, which is H, is in seat 253. And Maria, which is M, is to the right of Henry as right of H, which equals 2 and it was and we are told she is in seat 254. We are also told that George is to the left of Henry. And the number to the left of 253 is 252. And so this gives us George to be 252, Henry to be 253, and Maria to be 254. But we are not looking for George's seat number, so we proceed. From the question, we are also told that Ines, which is I, is to the left of George, that's left of George, left of G in this case, and the number to the left of 252 is 251. So the sitting arrangement is I equals to 251, G, 252, H, 253, and M, 254. So therefore, Ines is sitting in seat 251. So the correct answer to this question is option A, which is 251. Unilorin Positiemi most failed general paper questions. This question says, Pedro goes hunting or fishing every day. If it is snowing and windy, then Pedro goes hunting. If it is sunny and not windy, then Pedro goes fishing. Sometimes it can be snowing and sunny. Which of the following statements must be true? Option A. If it is not sunny and it is not snowing, then Pedro goes hunting. Option B, if it is windy and Pedro does not go hunting, then it is snowing. Option C, if it is windy and not sunny, then Pedro goes hunting. Option D, if it is windy and sunny, then Pedro goes hunting. 
The statement that must be true is option B. That is, if it is windy and Pedro does not go hunting, then it is not snowing. And this is because we are told here from the question that Pedro goes hunting when it is snowing and windy. And so if it is windy and Pedro does not go hunting, then that means it is not snowing. So our correct answer to this question is option B. Unilorin Positemi must fail general paper questions. This question says a group of friends live in a house divided into one flat per floor. Tony is in the flat below Julie and Madeline is in the flat above Sarah. Sarah is in the flat below Tony and Julie lives with Roger. Peter lives on the top floor who is in the bottom flat. Option A, Tony. Option B, Julie. Option C, Madeline. And option D, Sarah. Now let's try to work this out together to arrive at our correct answer. From the question, we are told that Tony lives in the flat below Julie. So we have Julie and then Tony. We are also told that Madeline lives in the flat above Sarah. And Sarah is said to live in the flat below Tony. So we we'll have Sarah here and Madeline somewhere here with Tony. Because we are told that Sarah lives in the flat below Tony. So Madeline should be living with Tony. From the question, we can also deduce that Julie lives with Roger. And so we have Julie and Roger. And finally, we are told that Peter lives on the top floor. So we have Peter above Julie. So the question is asking who lives at the bottom flat. And from the list we have created here, we can see that Sarah is the person at the bottom. And so the correct answer to this question is option D, Sarah. Unilorin Positemi must fail general paper questions. This question says, a group of friends live in a house divided into one flat per floor. Tony is in the flat below Julie and Madeline is in the flat above Sarah. Sarah is in the flat below Tony, and Julie lives with Roger. Peter lives on the top floor. Apart from Julie and Roger, who else shares a flat? Option A, Tony. Option B, Julie. Option C, Peter. And option D, Sarah. From the question, we are told that Tony lives in the flat below Julie. And so we have Julie above Tony. Also from the question, we are told that Madeline is in the flat above Sarah and Sarah is said to be in the flat below Tony. So that means Sarah comes directly below Tony and Madeline is somewhere here. Um, from the question, we can also see that Julie lives with Roger as Julie and Roger. And finally, we are told that Peter lives on the top floor. So Peter is somewhere up here. The question is asking, apart from Julie and Roger, who else shares a flat? So we can see here from our list that Tony and Madeline are living together. So the correct answer to this question is option A, which is Tony. Unilorin Positemi must fill general paper questions. This question says, Jane can play the piano, but not the flute, while Jeremy plays the violin and the flute. Shelley plays the violin, but not the piano, and Josephine plays the flute, but not the violin. If each child plays two of the three instruments, which one is likely to be similar to Jeremy? Option A, Shelley. Option B, Jane. Option C, Josephine. Option D, Jeremy. We are told from the question that Jane plays piano but not flute. Jeremy plays violin and flute. Shelley plays violin but not piano. And Josephine plays flute but not violin. The child that is likely to be similar to Jeremy is Shelley. And this is because from the question, the two people 
playing similar instruments to Jeremy is Shelley and Josephine, which is the violin and flute. For the question, we see that Jeremy plays both violin and flute. We look at Jane. Jane plays just piano, but not flute. So the two people similar to Jeremy are Shelley and Josephine. But we can see also that from the question, Josephine does not play violin, but Jeremy does. And so Josephine is out of the possible answers. Now for Shelley, the question says she plays violin, but not piano. And this doesn't change a thing because Jeremy does not play piano too. So if each child plays two of the three instruments, then it is highly plausible that Shelley plays both violin and flute, which is the same instrument that Jeremy plays. So the correct answer to this question is option A, which is Shelley. Unilaurin Positemi must fail general paper questions. This question says, which of the following cannot be used to travel from Port Harcourt to Kano? Option A, motor car. Option B, train. Option C, boat. Option D, aeroplane. Now the correct answer to this question is option C, boat. And this is because there is no waterway between Port Harcourt and Kano. We only have land separating the two states. So there is no possible way of using a boat to travel from Port Harcourt to Kano.